Hey YouTube, Charlie Smith here, back with unfortunately my last Let's Build of the LEGO Star Wars 2015 Winter Lion sets. And today I am doing, to finish it off, I am doing Anakin's Custom Jedi Starfighter, an awesome set. Set number 75087, uh, ages 8 to 14, comes with 370 pieces and is retailing for £40 or $40, so the same price as the Battle Droid Troop Carrier. So, yeah. Uh, so, straight off away, ah, the price is a little iffy, just a little bit. I mean, personally, I love the design, I, I think it's really cool. So, I did buy it, obviously, you know, I think it is worth buying for £40, but I guess if they'd made it 35 like perhaps some of the Jedi Interceptors or some of that stuff, it would have been perfect. £35 would have been perfect for this set. Just absolutely perfect. I will tolerate 40 absolutely, because the minifigures are new. The set itself is really, really cool. I do love it. Um, but perhaps 35 would have been a little bit better. But anyway, so, um, yeah. This is unfortunately my last Let's Build of the LEGO Star 2015 line. Because I've only got three more sets after this, and they are battle packs, and then the, like, Ezra Speedbike, whatchamacallit thing. So, obviously, they're not really big enough for me to do a Let's Build. Um, but yeah, so I'm finishing it off with this awesome awesome set. <laughs> I, by the way, this is only my second ever Jedi Starfighter. I had the yellow Anakin's first one. Other than that, though, I never had them. I have, there have been others which I've really wanted, like, for example, Mace Windows or Plo Koon Starfighters did look really cool. This actually kind of reminds me of Plo Koon's, just sort of the, the blue and white, you know, but anyway. And of course, if you don't know, this set actually was from the first Clone Wars seasons, like, Back in turn two, turn three type time, you know, way back there, when in the years where it was actually between episodes two and three, so you literally didn't even know what was going to happen in episode three, so literally anything could have happened in those previous Clone Wars, you didn't know. So, uh, a lot of stuff happened then, but unfortunately they are no longer canon, so that was unfortunate. I mean, I, I guess I do prefer the new Clone Wars seasons, just because I never really got into the old ones, but even so, yeah, I think there's enough talking about this set, this set is really cool. Let's just get now into the building of it, right now. Thank <laughs> you. 